Now that we have our file server up and running, and possibly had it up and running for a while, we decided we want to be able to maintain some better control over the file server. Well, one of the tools that's available for us is called the File Server Resource Manager, or FSRM. So let's walk through how we can install that, and then we'll talk about using it to control some access to our uh, file server. So I'm going to go to Manage and Add Roles and Features. Click Next. We're going to do a role or feature-based installation on our current server. And I want to expand my file and storage services. And then, I'm again, expand file and iSCSI services. And this is a bunch of things we can add to our file server. So branch cache, that's for dealing with caching files in remote locations. So let's say I have multiple branches and I have my main file server in my local or in my uh, main office network, but I want to be able to cache files out at remote sites so it doesn't take them as long to access files. That's what branch cache is for. Uh, DFS has to do with, that's our distributed file system. So that'll also move things among multiple servers, and it provides us some really interesting options. By the way, if you click on any of those over here, it'll tell you what it's about. Um, DFS provides some really interesting options for moving data to multiple locations, replicating data, providing you some uh, recovery options, or some fault-tolerant options would be a better way to say it. And simplifying access because you're using uh, namespaces rather than share names. But the one we're looking at right now is the File Server Resource Manager. Helps you manage and understand the files and folders in a file server by scheduling file management tests, storage reports, classifying files, configuring file quotas, and defining file screening policies. So that's the one we want for the moment. So we're going to click that. And yes, we're going to add features and next, next, and install. Okay, as it's installing, you saw in there we had several different options of ways that we can add additional capabilities to our file servers. So uh, branch caching, uh, DFS, FSRM, none of these are installed by default. We have to manually go in and do them. Now we could have done it when we did our initial uh, upgrade of, to file services, but we don't have to. We can come back and do that later. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close now, and this is going to add in. So everything else with our file server, we managed using file and storage services here, or we just were able to share by going to our file explorer, going to the right drive, and right-clicking and sharing. Okay, FSRM, DFS, Branch Cache, these all contain other management tools. So I'm going to go to Tools, and here I'm going to find File Server Resource Manager. And I've got to use this tool to manage FSRM, even though I'm managing over here my, um, let me go to Server Manager, my File and Storage Services, which allows me to manage volumes, I, uh, iSCSI shares, things like that. So we're going to go to Tools and File Server Resource Manager. Okay, we're going to, in our next video, and I'm going to hold off and I'm going to do this in two pieces. So this video was about installing it and where to find it, so pretty straightforward. In the next one, we're going to look at a couple of different tools we have via FSRM, including quota management and file screening.